good morning good afternoon and good evening to everyone out there and wherever you are thank you for being uh, in this conference and in this presentation i would also like to start by saying thank you to pmi for giving me this speaking opportunity uh today i will be talking about uh, you know the digital project management way to sustainable value creation before i do that i just want to tell a little bit about myself my name is sandeep kumar and i am one of the co-founders of product dossier we basically started this company and stay stayed our focus on delivering customer value and we specialize in the area of project management in my last 20 years of experience talking to leaders uh, project management practitioners uh, folks from the business the pmo and many others when i speak to them about project management i realize that each one of them you know have their own version of uh, what project management means to them and uh, while there is there are common things but then depending upon where they are in their journey each one has a different story to tell so that is one observation uh, i have made uh, in this thing then i also have one more experience uh, that pretty much everybody right from you know uh, entry level professional to a senior leader everybody has you know they know about project management they can speak about project management and in fact uh, many organizations uh, have some point of or the other they have invested uh, you know their time energy and money in making it happen because i guess all of them believe in the idea of project management but unfortunately what i also noticed is that most of these initiatives started with a big bang lot of energy but over a period of time they sort of died down i mean it was a big challenge for the leaders to continue this initiative and uh, you know uh, i also kind of uh, thinking about it and i realized that uh, you know the cousins of project management if i can call them which is uh, the crm and the erps of the world people have invested in those and uh, those are pretty much uh, you know being used there is no challenge as far as the deployment is concerned i mean much much less compared to project management and uh, they are seen as a mission critical software in the organization or mission critical initiatives in the organization whereas project management i think we have a we have a long way to uh, uh, go for that and uh, so when we started our company you know in 2006 obviously our product and everything we went out in about 2010 so our initial experience was very similar we find it very very hard to basically keep the initiative sustainable and then you know uh there were uh, challenges the people were not using it and when we spoke to people they said they can't do this they can't do that and it does only so much so they end up moving back to the excels and there are other ways of doing things and that sort of set us thinking that you know what can we do about it i mean there must be a problem somewhere and then we put our minds together and then from then like from a, probably from 2015 onwards we have been talking about you know how do i make these project management initiative a mission critical in the organization because what happens is if you start the initiative and it dies beyond a certain critical mass the value which we are expecting out of it never comes out right so in our journey um, we have learned a lot of things and today i can very proudly say that 90% of our customers are very very successful with whatever they are doing in the area of project management uh, it has become a mission critical uh, uh, software category for them uh, you get the same respect as erp or crm and they continue to invest in the platform and the technology because they see a lot of value in it 
So today I'm going to talk about uh, my experience and what we can do as a, you know, if we have to take this initiative, what are the things we have to take care of so that we generate sustainable value for our organization or for our initiative. So with that, I will move on to my next slide. Uh, basically, so today, if you want to do anything in project management, right? then you start talking about project management, what it can do, what it cannot do, and all those things. In fact, uh, on the day one, we jump to the what software to purchase for project management. And if you do Google, there are tons of softwares out there. But in my mind, that approach itself, the first step itself, there is something wrong about there. Because first, we have to talk about, you know, what are we doing? Project management could be just, a, a, you know, one of the ways. But are we clear or are we have fully defined what we are doing? So, because that's what we want to accomplish. We don't want to do project management. We want to accomplish our goals. So, one of the goals in many organizations could be that I want to deliver customer-specific uh, deliverables. And I do a lot of projects, customer-facing projects. So this could be, you know, one uh, thing. Then there are companies who develop new products, right? So they don't really do customer specific deliverables like automotive, uh, like they produce passenger cars or FMCG or anything. So they produce new products to the market. They launch new products. So for them, that's the goal. The third one is the, you know, I do internal initiatives. So basically what we have to focus on is what kind of work we are doing. So, and then that defines us, what are the project types? And the second thing is, I may be doing customer specific projects, but when I am in professional services industry compared to say EPC industry, my working may be very different. So I also have to define what industry I belong to because that will give you idea that when you take up the initiative, you know, all these things matter. So I have to be fully aware of, you know, my project, the kind of projects we do, the industry I am in. And then the third very important thing is that how all of these, what I'm, I'm doing is linked to my organizational strategy. Whether, you know, these are the revenue generating projects I am doing, or I want to, you know, uh, be a market leader in the product category, I want to do market expansion. Because when we are assessing the value, it is important that, you know, how I am linked to the strategy and what value metrics I need to basically deploy. So this is question number one, what's my purpose? So instead of start talking about project management, let us focus on what we are doing, who we are because that will determine what kind of project management we need. The second thing is, again, when I know what kind of projects and everything I'm doing, I have to define my process, what all I do, and not what is available in the project management world from the outside. That is just a way our, our steps have to be. So for example, you know, when I am doing customer facing deliverables, I start with the opportunity. Then I have to make a quotation. So a lot of the project work is done at that time itself. And then once I get an order, I need to execute it. And then it changes depending upon which industry I am in. So I have to define my end-to-end -end process. Similarly, you know, when in product development company, their, their uh, process starts with the idea, the business case, and so on and so forth. So it's important that, you know, I define my different processes that this is all we do. I may not do everything in one go when I start the initiative or digitize this initiative, but I need to have a blueprint. I need to have, you know, an overview of entire process. And then there are like details. So what all elements I want to cover? It could be proposals, the planning and execution, which is like the forte of project management. But then there are a lot of other elements which we hardly talk about. And those are pretty much important to make my initiative sustainable. So that is one thing. And then, of course, uh, 
are we talking of uh, this initiative only for one function like r and d or delivery or we want to integrate cross functional teams because when we want to make it successful you know this is important that we have a end to end view of you know so it could be integrating with my suppliers my customers and you know other things so this is the process is the second most important thing the third one i would say is basically why do we we bring to a point where we start talking about technology because now i know who i am what do i do and then what's my process and then i look for a technology which can so basically when i am looking at technology you know you need to really look at what all i knew it and then what is the technology offering me so you start with the functional capabilities another important element which is coming now is the user experience that's even different than user interface right and this also one factor which will determine how successful is my initiative because people should be able to use it very very easy manner and then the third one you know i am if i just buy some standard microsoft project like thing and digitize and i say i have digitized this not going to work i need a technology which i don't have to develop that means it's out of the box and yet tailor made for what i am doing so my characterization my fabric has to be uh, basically accepted by the technology and then you know i have my other cousins which may be already there in terms of technology like crm erp or you know many other things uh, even iot systems and you know in other things so i have to basically make sure that you know i am talking to them and there is no duplication of data i will never have to do the same data multiple times or more than one time uh, it should be scalable and then another thing which our experience when we do sort of uh, financials and there are a lot of compliances for example some of our customers wanted uh, soc compliances because there is a financials involved in it they are it is being audited by you know external auditors or gdpr or many other compliances so you have to make sure your technology is compliant to them and then new age technologies ai ml speech but you know i just want to caution that ai ml etc cannot be the starting point you need to basically put your house in order and then you can deploy these technologies so that would be uh, you know i would go about uh, doing it and then one of the important point is you know how do we implement it in this is again you know we are very very clear implementation is not a overnight effort it's a journey it's it doesn't depend upon just you've got the technology and everything it's a journey you cannot fast forward it beyond a point so you need to make sure you have a vision of end to end because now you already know your processes but give it like a phase wise manner you can have like a milestones phases this what it does is this gives you the bandwidth as a organization to absorb and then the learning you have in phase 1 you deploy it in phase 2 right and because your organization uh is basically learning and um uh, there is a maturity level of your organization goes up with every passing phase earlier you know you were doing your descriptive that is what happened that is what you want to track because today even that is not available then diagnostic which is why it happened and then prescriptive uh, basically or predictive sorry what will happen and then the fourth one which is where the maximum value generation it can even guide you that what should you do so the intended outcome happens and that's what i call as a organizational maturity and that comes only with time and of course uh, you know another principle which normally we do is 80 20 whatever you want to do when you know 80% of it just go for it the last 20% is going to kill you you know in just even knowing what you want so go with the 80 20 principle put your best people and so on the last one which you know we also are learning about it but uh, we have discovered uh, that it's the culture 
people buy technology people buy everything but they don't focus on the culture in fact this morning only i was talking to one of our customer and he was telling me that how users uh, you know they are little bit unhappy maybe a little bit with the technology or the user interface but more so because you know they feel they are unheard so we need to invest in culture because the behavior of the people normally comes from the norms and values in the organization so similarly we need to build project management culture where you know we need to make sure that you know it's a continuous initiative from the management there is a commitment discipline uh, you know there are continuous improvements uh, and you know and then uh, you know how we treat failure and success so once this culture builds up the project management culture magic happens because then the people themselves are in self motivation mode you don't have to go and tell them to use this they become the owner of the initiative so that's very very important largely people have not started talking about it but it's one of the key things so just you know so these are few things i think if done right we can you can have a, a successful initiative some of the examples of these kind of things could be it services company doing opportunity to cash process uh, basically a automotive like for example a tire company uh, you know doing their entire idea to launch a pharmaceutical company launching uh, their products uh, which includes uh, the recent uh, covid-19 vaccines and all so how do we you know bring them to the market so there is a process in it i can go on and on but for today's discussion i'll quickly run through a, a one case study where uh, you know we there is a leading it company with about 10000 users and um, you know they have existing erp and crm but gap in between the both and then uh, you know their challenge is of course how do we grow our top line and improve our bottom line so some of the challenges they were grappling was the problem was in the scoping and coding itself i mean that itself was not uh, correct so the results were obviously not good they were not so competitive so they uh, then uh, taking a lot of time in project setup their revenue recognition uh, had issues for fixed price projects and that led to the compliance issue their billing uh, the dso was very high and they could quantify it was running into like a, a couple of millions uh, in a year so how do we and then lower project margins uh, ineffective tracking and you know collaboration with the customer and supplier another very important problem they were facing was they were acquiring companies but then how do you merge them after mna and then the value was getting lost because they were not able to integrate it uh, in a seamless manner so with this uh, you know kind of uh, 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 kind of uh, challenges and they had uh, all kinds of you know use cases with uh, different business models one po multiple projects uh, 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 multiple pos one project so it was basically at a level uh, where uh, you know uh, significant uh, challenges with this all of this uh, they basically embark on this initiative called opportunity to cash and they built their blueprint something like this so they have the sales force on the left hand side the sap on the right hand side the hrms and then you know uh, when the opportunity reaches a certain level in sales force now they would basically send it to their project management initiative where a detailed digitized margin calculator would be prepared the proposal would be generated on a click of a button and would be sent back to the uh, crm and after few iterations with the customer you would win the contract and then the delivery uh, project so to say would be created with as sold margins uh, and as planned and then there is a integration with the sap and uh, you know from the resource side because that's another one of their challenge uh, how from the centralized resources uh, the resources would be allocated against the budget you have and then there are you know whole lot of project uh, uh, artifacts like risk task time sheets revenue recognition billing so basically uh, all of them they were doing then integrating with sap 
and finally there is a project closure so uh, and then there is a analytics and the, they were even advanced that they are adding their blueprint uh, giving a customer portal so that they can build uh, confidence with the customer so with this kind of blueprint they implemented it i am very happy to share that they are very successful very very successful it's a mission critical uh, sometimes even more critical than the typical erp because you know 10000 people touch it every single day and nothing gets outside the system their revenue profitability their delivery their resource everything is being tracked to the system and they do projects in multiple locations so they can actually able to track the profitability at each location which is a big thing uh, uh, to happen and uh, then they have this delivery gantt charts etc this is just to give you a kind of a visual uh, uh, visualization this is the resource workbench and then you know this is the utilization of resources uh, uh, these are like sort of workflows because they want to digitize their processes so that's another very very important piece of this initiative which is project management does not talk so much uh, uh, like there are bpm companies and project management if integrated this is what you can get so ultimately the value which they created was you know first of all the challenge when the industry is facing that it is not sustainable the initiative itself you know it dies down so they are not facing that challenge it's going stronger every single day and then you know some of the quantifiable benefits like their dso which is today they are doing you know uh, for example a uh, 20 million dollar uh, this thing then you can actually save half a million dollar just because you have reduced the dso then their project profitability has gone up from 2 to 5 percentage points and these are real quantifiable benefits right this is much more than the investment and then there is a you know all their teams and geographies are integrated there is uh, basically uh, the maturity level of the organization today the problems they are talking is completely next level they will that will blow you up they are not talking of simple time sheets and gantt charts right they are much much beyond the how do we control bill rates and all those things which are like next level of problems in it industry there is a single version of truth data entered in crm in the project management and erp is in sync with each other only one time data entry and most importantly the 10000 people you don't have to train them anymore they are tuned to project profitability they are tuned to timely deliverables and you know when the new people come they automatically get trained so that's the biggest uh, benefit i see the organization has achieved so in conclusion basically i would like to say you know obviously it's not that this is the only path or if you do this uh, you know you will get it right but i would say if we start the process never think of project management as just like a buying a tool think of your purpose your processes and then select the right technology technology is very very important you have to invest in a long time technology platform a point solution is not going to get where you want to go and then implementation you have to put your best people into it and not the people which are on bench sometimes you know i have seen even that kind of uh, behavior and that's again leads to the culture what's my culture if as a initiative i take my culture is not just to try and leave it my culture is to basically take the initiative take it to where it should be and then keep improving it right so that comes from culture so with this i would like to thank you uh, uh for your attention and uh, you know listening to me if you have any questions i would happy to take uh, them now and otherwise my details are here please reach out to us uh, our company name is again product dossier thank you so much